Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of The Mitchell Hour Reacts. We're going to jump right into it. I'm going to play this clip and then I'll come back with the rest of my thoughts. This is my question. This is my question. Out of all the bitches that you don't smell in here, would you suck the fart out my ass? All right. Y'all saw the clip. It's a wild situation. The backstory is the baby gets called by a uh, popular YouTuber. Uh, he was paid $20,000 to participate in a 20 versus one. For the older people that are listening right now, a 20 versus one is when you grab a female versus 20 guys or a guy versus 20 females. They all have balloons. If you're interested, you hold your balloon. You're not interested. You pop it. You give an explanation as to why you popped it. And then the point is you, you find somebody that you want to go out and date with, date with or sleep with. The controversy sur uh, surrounding this situation is uh, the baby was invited to participate in the 20 versus 1. And the narrative that the YouTuber has been putting out is the baby took the $20,000 and left. It's not totally true. Um, the baby took the 20 k he went on a 20 versus one and he got into a little uh, back and forth with a young lady. I'm going ahead and play this clip and then I'll come back with the rest of my thoughts. Get, get this bitch. Get, um, no, get, you see, how you feel. get this queen out of here, man. What? Get this queen. What you mean? Get this disrespectful ass queen out of here. You smell the Valentino, get, oh, baby. Come on. Get this disrespectful ass queen out of here. She Just came from in the here. Heart, though. I'm speaking for the heart. Verbally harass me. I'm not verbally harassing you. Get this disrespectful queen. I think out you. Of here. I, 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 I don't think you want to do that. You do, baby. And I, don't have no vendetta with me. Oh, baby. She told me, me Charlamagne, a guy do that. She told me Charlamagne. Yeah, they all do it. Don't play like Come that. Come on. Yo, go ahead on, baby. I told it was a New Orleans thing. I think she got it confused. Yeah. No, I ain't got it confused. Go ahead on. Go ahead on, baby. Who gonna stop me? Who gonna to What you mean, go ahead? So, look. Yeah, go on, call your yes, security. So she got a pistol. Yeah. Yeah. So, as you can see, the young lady was told, was asked multiple times by the baby, yo, I'm done, it's over, can you leave, whatever. And she further just pushes the, the situation a little further. But what have made this, the baby get a lot of flack was the YouTuber is saying that the baby just stole the 20K and he doesn't know why. I just want to talk briefly about why this is sick. Now, if you look at the young lady on the screen, she is a beautiful young lady, um, but she's beautiful on the outside. You can tell inside she might be a little, little messed up or she just could be one of those ladies who doesn't take rejection well and then says, OK, I'm going to offer my body to the guy that rejected me and maybe that will make me feel a little bit better. I could go deeper into my thoughts about why that is so backwards and detrimental to herself and her future children, but I'm not going to do that right now. We're going to talk about the baby. If you go online, there's been a lot of slander of the baby and I try to hold my judgments and thoughts until I, you know, the story comes out. And I knew this was something that I wanted to talk about because something just didn't seem right to me. Uh, a YouTuber, LaMike, he just seemed a little clout chasey to me. Uh, the baby has been trying to rebrand ever since this happened. HIV, AIDS, any of them deadly sexual transmitted diseases. It'll make you die in two, three weeks, put a cell phone like the uh. Lady, if your pussy smell like water, put a cell phone like the uh. Fellas. Lights up. Fellas, if you ain't sucking dick in the parking lot, put your cell phone like Let's the Let's be uh. real about this shit. Yeah, keep it fucking real. He's been doing pretty good. Like, hasn't been in any fights. He hasn't been in any uh controversies, uh, except for this one. And uh there's been a lot of people that have been just going and saying that, yo, the baby's 
like these these headlines the baby stole 20k from a youtuber the youtuber gets on and making these really crazy videos now i'm not going to totally absolve the baby of this situation because one thing i never understood about some of these rappers and and uh athletes and just people that have money is why put yourself in this type of situation? I'll just say that. According to Google, the baby's net worth is about $5 million. Now, yes, properties, cars, everything like that. He probably, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have liquid of $5 million. I get that. But still, like, why put yourself in a situation for $20,000? Yes, according to the baby, he was getting about $300,000 for a verse. But now he's down to, I think, a about eighty to a hundred thousand dollars. So the only thing you're you have to do is hop on somebody's song. You just did the pretty decent freestyle on LA Leakers. I'm pretty sure they gave you a little something. So he didn't have to put himself in that situation. Now let's move on to the YouTube. Clout is a hell of a drug. To subject yourself to this type of situation for some clicks and views when you could be sued. Uh, now, let's move on to the young lady who really, really, I think is the most uh, messed up situation in this story. And I'm going to go, I'm going to talk to you guys for a couple more minutes about why I think this should be studied. She wasn't picked and she wouldn't take no for an answer, even though the baby said, hey, beautiful, you know, it's done, it's over. Like, that's just, come on now, just just go, just leave. And she goes to, after being rejected, she goes to the whole sex thing. Now, the reason that I think that this is a lot deeper than maybe some people are realizing is this. This is going to create more detriment and more just overly sexualized, promiscuous young women or boys growing up that are going to be angry and bitter. What do I mean? She turned to sex because she was rejected. Do you think this is her only time? No. She gives her body up to because she's not happy, right? She gives her body up to get attention and what she thinks is perceived as love. OK, so a guy gets her pregnant. He's not ready for a kid. She has a daughter. She would raise that daughter up to be just like her. Her insecurity, she stole it into the child. Her child sees her mother being promiscuous. And then we're going to have another beautiful young lady that is lost, that is giving her body up because that's all she was. Told. And she has a son. That son is going to look at it. And seeing his mother being promiscuous and giving her body away. And he's not going to respect women. And number two, most of the time when a woman, white, black, Puerto Rican, Mexican, whatever, when the baby's father is not in the picture and he treats the woman wrong, that that hatred, she's going to push into that child, into that young boy, which is going to it's going to make him angry. He's not going to respect women. He's going to grow up angry. Possibly since he doesn't have a male role model in his life, he's going to grow up angry and probably get involved in the wrong crowd and end up dead or in prison. When we watch these videos and we share these videos, we got to really think about what we are portraying. We really got to think about stuff in the long run. These generational curses have to be broken. They really do. And they're not going to be broken by us continuing these for clicks and views. That's just my thoughts on the situation. And uh, hopefully we can do better. But ladies and gentlemen, this has been another episode of the Mitchell Hour Podcast. Until next time, I'm out. Thank you for tuning in. Hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. And until then, 